Hello everybody, in this video I'm going to talk about Leonardo Alchemy, which is a brand new image generation pipeline in built into Leonardo AI aimed at producing high fidelity images. Now while the access of this feature is primarily aimed at paid users, if you are a free user, you can still try this out for 7 days completely free. Now the goal of Alchemy is to provide a 1.5 to 2x increase in resolution along with features such as contrast boost and resonance which can add a lot more detail to your existing images. Now if you have used Midjourney and compared the images with Leonardo AI, you might have noticed that the quality was a little bit lacking but from what I've seen in Leonardo AI's Alchemy generations, the quality of the images have increased significantly. And in this video, I'm going to try out combinations of different Leonardo AI features to produce the highest quality of images that I can get. Now, if this is your first time to my channel, I want to welcome you. And if you have never used or heard about Leonardo AI, I recommend you to go to my playlist called Leonardo AI, where I have published over 10 videos explaining all the different features that Leonardo AI has to offer. I also recommend you to subscribe to my AI newsletter where I'm going to start sending out emails on different ways you can effectively use AI tools versus just getting distracted by new tools that are coming out every day. I'm also working on a new course and the newsletter subscribers will be the first to know about it. Now I have a paid version of Leonardo AI but if you don't have a paid version make sure to sign up to the free trial so you can see the alchemy option on the left of your AI image generation page. To start off I'm going to keep the toggle off and use this prompt female warrior with fire eyes close up and I'm going to use a fine tuned model called absolute reality version 1.6. I'm going to keep the style as Leonardo style. I'm not even going to add any negative prompts and I want to see how the first generation turns out. I'm going to keep the number of images to 2. I'm going to set the dimensions to 1024 by 768 and do one generate. All right, I have my first two generations, which actually look pretty good. They're pretty close to what I was expecting. I kind of wanted a fire in the background, but I didn't mention that in my prompt. I just wanted some kind of a fire reflection or fiery intense eyes on a female warrior. And I think this result came out pretty good. Now I'm going to progressively work on increasing the quality of the images. And I like this image to start off. The first variation I'm going to do is to do a creative upscale and see how that turns out. All right, so I have this original image and my creative upscaled image turns out to be looking like this. I don't see a lot of changes, maybe a little bit of the skin tone changed, but I don't see a massive amount of change as you can see. I'm going to still download this image, the upscaled version of it. Now to make sure that the comparison is fair, I'm going to keep the current seed of this image and for that I'm going to click copy seed from the right of that generation and go to advanced settings and set used a fixed seed and copy that right there. Now any future generations will try to keep this style of images so we can compare better. Now while using the same seed, I'm going to generate a third variant of that image but I'm going to use prompt magic. So I'm going to turn the toggle on and get the prompt magic strength a little bit high up to maybe 0.5 and do two generations of the same dimensions and click generate. And I instantly see the quality of the images go up quite a bit. So this is what I was thinking when I said fire eyes and with prompt magic it went pretty close to what I was expecting. If you look at the skin tone it looks pretty detailed as well and there seems to be some kind of a fire makeup on her face or maybe that's just shimmering fire itself. Either way, the picture looks really good. So I'm going to download this as well. Now I'm going to turn off prompt magic and use alchemy independently. And as soon as you turn this toggle on, you're going to see in the middle, there's a new dropdown which shows up, which ranges all the way from dynamic 
anime, creative, environment, general illustration, photography, 3D render, sketch, and a bunch of other options. And these are all variations of this new alchemy feature. To start off, I'm going to keep the option to dynamic and keep the same seed that I used to generate this first image and do another generation. Right? The images keep getting progressively better and better. Now, if you compare this image to this first generation right there, you can see the difference. Especially the details on her armor are significantly better. Now this is an image which I think can match the generations from Mid Journey quite well. And I have not seen this sort of generations from Leonardo AI because the upscaling feature did not work on the details quite as well. Now with Alchemy, I think Leonardo AI can finally match Mid Journey's quality. Let me try the same generation but with a different option for alchemy and at this time i'm going to use the option called creative i'm going to keep everything else the same i'm going to still use the same seed from before and i'm going to do two generations of the dimension 1024 by 768 all right, I have another variation of a female warrior with fire eyes. I think the armor here is a lot more creative than the last one, and the makeup or decorations on her face has also improved. If you look closely at the strands of hair right here, it looks pretty high quality. Like for example, there's no fire on her left side right there, so there's no reflection on her hair. But the fire on this side reflects pretty well on the hair. And also if you look at her armor, there seems to be more fire in her front. And that is reflecting on her armor as well. And the whole shine on the armor itself, I think, tells me that quality is significantly higher than this first generation right here. And we're using the same prompt. Usually if you want to add details, you want to add more information on the prompt. But our goal was to use a simple prompt and get pretty high quality images. And I think Alchemy is doing a great job with that. Now I'm going to try a third variant of the Alchemy options. And this time I'm going to use an illustration to see how that is different. All right, I have another amazing generation and I think this one is my favorite one till now. So I'm gonna download all these generations to compare later. This is the first one I tried. This is the second one. And this is my favorite one till now. I'll download that as well. Now there is another option that Alchemy provides called high resolution. And if you click toggle yes on that, it says the final resolution will be 2048 by 1536. And it also gives you a warning that sometimes the results might not be that great. So I'm gonna keep everything else the same, keeping the high resolution on. And I'm gonna go back to dynamic and click generate. All right, I have my new generation and I think there's some significant differences of this generation versus the others. For example, if you look closely, the armor has a lot more gleam and reflection on it compared to any of the other generations. And there are also a lot of shadows which have now popped up on her face. So there's a shadow from this piece of armor right here on her neck. There's a piece of shadow from her nose on this side of her face. There's a piece of shadow on her chin right here and there's also some shadows from her hair including the gaps between her hair where the light reflects and I'm pretty happy with this generation. The other generation actually did not come out that well as you see there's an extra head on her shoulder but that is to be expected when you turn this high resolution on but for me I like this image quite a bit so I'm going to click download on that. Now to end this video I'm going to try turning all the features on and see whether the image gets worse or better. So I'm going to keep the prompt magic on, keep it to V3 beta, keep the prompt magic strength 2.55, have alchemy on with high resolution on. And as you see, there's an extra warning which pops up because I'm doing a bunch of things together. The results are out and they look pretty cool. 
they're pretty different from all the other generations as you see these are all sort of in the similar realm of some fire in the background they're not that intense but i think this is the most intense picture i've seen from all of them so this whole image seems to have a whole different energy from the other ones i think there's a lot more focus on the fire in her eyes and the background like here she looks a lot more menacing as a warrior than say this one like here here she almost looks a bit kind, but I would not mess with her at all. And now we are ready to compare. So the only prompt I used here was a female warrior with fire eyes close up. And I used the first seed that was generated from that prompt and used that for all the other images. So we started with this image, which looks pretty good, pretty traditional Leonardo AI generation. Then we went with prompt magic. Then we went with alchemy. The first one was dynamic, then it was creative, and then it was an illustration. And then I tried alchemy with high resolution. And the final one, which I think is the most intense one and actually my favorite one till now, is where I turned all the options on, including prompt magic, alchemy, alchemy high resolution, and the image came out really intense. So now I hope you have an idea of what you can generate with the Leonardo AI's new alchemy feature. And if you don't have a paid subscription, I highly recommend you try this out to see if this is something you can use. And that's all I have for you in this video. I hope you got some value from it. If you did enjoy it, make sure to subscribe to my channel and my AI newsletter. I have a lot more videos coming up. Till the next one, Thank you so much.